What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back here with another banger video. And as you guys see in today's title and thumbnail, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly take product photos for you guys as clothing brand filming. A lot of you guys have been requesting this video. A lot of you guys have been asking me how to actually take product photos. I didn't think I was supposed to make a video on this because it's actually super easy and super simple once I explain it to you guys. But yeah, we got a free sauce video for you guys today. We are basically just going to be going over how to take correct product photos and how to take the best looking product photos for your clothing brand because a lot of you guys have been struggling with that and little do you guys know product photos are literally a make it or break it with our clothing brand. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and I go like let's get straight into this video. As you guys see, you're probably wondering where I'm at. If you aren't new to this channel, we is currently at my storage unit. And for the video today, we need to get a product. Whichever product you guys want, I'm gonna go ahead. I, Cause I already took product photos of everything. So I'm gonna just do a shirt, a hoodie, and all that. So we finna go ahead and take this. And we just finna be at picking the products out. We finna use this hoodie. We got a pink hoodie. And now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use this shirt actually. I don't know. I dropped this before. So literally just go ahead and get every, anything you wanna take your product photos. You guys are probably wondering why you're not taking it here. You know what I'm saying? The floor is nice, all that stuff. It's because I'm actually about to go ahead and go to a parking garage because if you guys don't know i want to get that kind of like that floor look kind of aesthetic y'all already know what i'm going for so that's what we're gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and go to a parking garage and i'm gonna show you guys how to exactly take product photos like me literally anywhere bro like you could go to a parking garage you go to your home literally anything just with a nice background you guys want to go ahead and take it because that's what's going to make the product photos look nice and, and what's going on photoshop and all that go ahead get y'all clothes i got my clothes right here i'm probably about to just use only these three because i took every single product photo of anything else so yeah get y'all clothes and literally pick a location i suggest going to a parking garage like me i find a parking garage and i just take pictures there so that's what you're gonna go ahead and do so yeah i'm finna do some stalking i ain't gonna let's get straight figure the camera once i go to the parking garage and all that good stuff all right man, so as you guys can see we currently here and first things first i'm gonna just basically just show you guys what type of floor i'm gonna be using we is literally at a regular parking garage i see my car right there but literally just gonna go ahead and just plop it on the floor and y'all see this background like it's literally just concrete bro so everybody asking like they think it's like some special place like literally just go to a, a parking garage and you'll be straight but i'm gonna basically just show you guys what i like to use now we're on a phone i'm using it's an iphone 15 but it don't matter what phone you use as long as the phone quality is good because these cameras be cooking nowadays i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys like a quick little thing first thing is, is to get the grid on with your phone so if you guys are wondering how to get like it perfectly centered and all that i have this grid on my phone it's like a grid here so it's like you could get it in the middle and everything so to get that on your phone y'all want to go ahead and go to your camera settings and then y'all want to go ahead and see y'all says composition just turn on the grid the level that's what i like to do with everything so it literally just levels it out it grids it out so it's in a circle so make sure literally do that first thing first step to do with your phone if you're going to be taking pictures on your phone, I always take it on my phone. So you don't need no camera, no nothing. I'm going to just show y'all straight up here. So yeah, get y'all your phone. Make sure it shows the grid, everything, because y'all can see. Maybe you can put it in the center and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go switch the mic so y'all can hear me and talk while I'm taking these pictures. So yeah, I'm going to hear a little switch in a second. Of course, y'all have seen me take product photos before on this channel, but I'm going to go ahead and go in depth. So we got the product. Everything look good. Make sure y'all product look good. Make sure it look straight everything looks straight but with me is it don't matter because i like to edit on photoshop anyway which i'm going to show y'all later like in another clip but yeah let's go ahead and do this one first one starting off what i usually be doing is i literally just throw it on the floor and then whatever comes out literally just like fix it on adjust it there's no perfect way to really adjust it you just kind of just want to make it what looks good the best i like to do like multiple different styles of posts so like this post might be like this way but then in another way i might tuck the arm so it's like a bunch of different ways you guys could do it but i'm gonna go ahead and start screen sharing so you guys could already go ahead and go see and this part is gonna come into play the camera app is where basically you can see where it centers but literally this is how simple it is to take product photos to get your phone get a nice little background and then take it make sure the product looks good lighting's good that's why i like to do it over here because the lighting looks best for product photos it's just this simple bro your product is literally gonna make itself make it look good itself and i'm just gonna show y'all what it basically looks like right now just simple what I like to do is I kind of like to fold this down, but it really just depends like which really looks the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen share so you guys can go ahead and see. Y'all can go ahead and see, we just spread it out nicely and good. This is where y'all gonna go ahead and see. This is what I like to do is first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on raw max because it just be like, you get the raw image and all that on iPhone. But literally this is all I do. You might see some background in the back, but when taking a photo, but literally you just edit on Photoshop, all that stuff. So just finna literally make sure it's in the center. Take multiple photos, bro. 
Y'all wanna go ahead and take multiple. The real artwork really gonna be in Photoshop because y'all could probably see the background and all that like over here and stuff, but we can edit that in Photoshop later. That's all I do. This little piece, we can fix that right here. But what I would have done though, if I, if I didn't realize that, if I didn't recognize that, I would have just, not gonna lie, just fixed it in Photoshop. But literally you could get different type of angles. This is what I like to do when I get my aesthetic photos. So if y'all didn't know, you could actually change it to 16 to nine. So literally like, it's like the background, everything just plays a part into it. You just wanna go ahead and get the angles of literally everything. Make sure it's all in the square. I like to do the four times, four by three. It don't matter if your feet is in it. Now, it don't matter if your feet is in it too, cause you can literally edit it in Photoshop. I'm gonna show y'all that later in today's video. Once y'all get y'all product photo, literally just swap it out. You could take some up hand. This is why I like to do, like get the aesthetic photos. If I, like, if I did a picture like this, I will literally just, if I did it like this, I will just take a picture of that. So y'all can already see the aesthetic is coming to play. Not gonna lie, I'm about to go ahead and do the other one. I bet so, what we finna go ahead and be taking pics of next? Let's go ahead and get the next hoodie. Just to show y'all like, whenever y'all go out, make sure you guys just bring out every single hoodie so you don't gotta keep on doing it over and over again. So we just took pictures of the purple, now we finna do the pink. I'm not really a fan of this pink, but people like it. So we just finna go ahead and take product photos. Let's go ahead and get my phone. But yeah, it's literally that simple. All the photos ain't hard at all. Literally, this is where I be going to take my photos. Just get somewhere similar to this. And I ain't gonna lie, you be straight. You guys can literally do it any way you want to. Like, you don't have to, you could put it under. This is what I like to do with these hoodies. It really depends on the quality. So this is just what I like to do. Whatever you do matters. Yeah, that's good. This one is a lot. This one is wrinkly, so that's good. We could fix that in Photoshop. That would be all good. Thing. But literally, it's just that simple, bro. You just set it up, set it up every time, set it up nicely so people can actually see your product and it's not no blurry or nothing. Literally just do this with every single product. Lay it out nicely. You don't gotta do it at a parking garage. I like to get some of these like angles, like nice angles because I like to get like multiple different, multiple different angles. So I have a lot to use, a lot to work with. Cause the more you get, the more you can work with. I like to get some of the quality as well. And literally put it on a photo. This is like exactly how I like the stand. You see, y'all can see like, it's like a little shadow. So we could fix that in Photoshop though. But literally just bend over, take pictures. Y'all see how like, y'all see how the background, that's why a, lot, why a lot of people like using this background because it's like a nice aesthetic background. And a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna buy your clothes like this. Like it's nicely set up. If I wanted to, I could just do it wide out too as well. Wide out looks nice. And this is literally how I take my TikToks as well. So now I could get a picture of it all spread out. Y'all might see that it, it looks a lot wrinkly, but we can fix that on Photoshop. I'm gonna show y'all that later. So now sometimes I like to get get it all wide some i like to do 16 by 19 so you get the nice aesthetic post these on your ig story get the quality too really that easy this is exactly how i take every single product photo you want to get it just like this i wouldn't don't worry about the background y'all literally don't worry about the background you can fix that on photoshop y'all might see like oh the stairs is right there why are you gonna take a picture with the stairs? I'm not, the whole background is gonna be, I'm gonna content aware it. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to do that on Photoshop. But yeah, just set up y'all. It's all about just setting up y'all things nicely, bro. Just set up y'all product nicely. Make it so it looks like someone actually wants to buy it. People are gonna wanna actually buy it. So this is also another way too that you guys could, that I like putting my hoodies. We could take pictures of this as well. And this is literally exactly how you get product photos. Like this is exactly what I do every single time, no matter if it's a tee, hoodie, anything. I bet. So we finna go ahead and take some pictures of this tee. As you guys can see, if y'all don't know what this tee is, WT. I dropped this about like last year. And let me know if y'all think I should drop this again. Tees is really just simple, bro. Like you just lay it out. Not gonna lie, what I like to do is I like to like, 
tug on it a little bit so it could get that kind of look to it. Really not much you could do with a tee. Tee is really pretty simple. You just throw it on the floor. Make it look nice, feel me? What you could do is you could just like lower this, you know what I'm saying? Fix the tee a little bit. And then literally, once you just put on your tee, the grid, everything, take pictures, literally it's just in the center of it. That's how I like to do it. I like to do everything all at once, bro. So like, whenever I'm editing it, it's kind of like all the same background, same lighting, same everything. So for the pictures, for the product photos, you also do want to go ahead and get some up close. And if y'all are wondering, this is how I take my reels too. So literally y'all see it's in a circle, all that stuff, all the simple stuff. I don't care if my feet is in it because once again, you could just take that out on Photoshop. So literally just take some photos of it, take a variety of them. So in case you don't like one, you could literally use the other one. So I wasn't even screen recording, but y'all get the gist though. For an example, hold on, I'm gonna go back because I wasn't even screen recording, bro. Hold on. Literally just go ahead take some you already see the pictures that i um, took y'all could probably say that is like not in the same but how i get them all kind of like the same size is on photoshop so we're just gonna do that it don't matter what type of pics we take out here you know what i'm saying just get a few that simple if your product you know what i'm saying you want it a certain way make sure you get it that certain way before you go ahead and taking pictures of it but product photos is not hard bro and I literally i just took product photos for three pieces so in like five minutes so literally is that hard i'm gonna go ahead and go home so i could go ahead and show you how exactly how i edit these pictures and everything so literally how i do my product photos i do do them on photoshop i don't just like take them on iphone and then just post them i actually like i go on photoshop edit them to get them like perfect basically so and that's what it all is, bro. Editing, you get on Photoshop, you edit it until you're liking all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera once I get home, get to Photoshop, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second, bro. As you guys can see, you know what I'm saying, we got our post, we got the Photoshop right here, and as you guys can see, we got the five pictures, and what I like to do is I don't be making, like, a new photo, like, I don't like to make, like, the custom dimensions, I kind of just use whatever the photo gives me, so first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just kind of just drag the photo on here. I, this is like the five best that I chose because as you guys can see, it's kind of like a shadow right here. So all the other photos had like a bad shadow. So I really just picked the one that looked best on there. So we're just going to go ahead and try to fix it up and all that good stuff. I'm just basically just going to be showing you guys how I edit it to basically like my perfection and how to properly edit your photos so let's go ahead and get into this so we got the background right here and i kind of just like to do this so it kind of is like the same size as the original photo because that's the instagram size and that's kind of like the good size you guys all want to use for for your product photos so i'm gonna go ahead and just drag everything on inside of here too as well so y'all could go ahead and see that just go ahead and drag it on a layer so everything could be in the same and you could actually see depending on what type of color you're doing if it all lines up and if it all like lines up to the same color and all that good stuff so yeah we're gonna go ahead and edit the purple one first and you, there's not really a lot to edit in here first things i'm gonna just go ahead and take off my shoes i got my slides in the pic so we don't need that in the pic so i'm gonna just go ahead and highlight it you guys want to know this quick too if this is this is also all you guys is photoshop and photo p as well if you guys don't have photoshop everything should still work on photo p so if you have photo p you could be able to use it it's photo p.com it's basically like a free version of photoshop but it's really the same thing but literally i'm going to go ahead and click this tool right here because we are going to be selecting and we're going to be content aware fill this feet right here so we don't have to like kind of go over it with a brush and all that so i'm gonna just go ahead and select the area like this depending on what's actually in the photo you guys want to just do it accordingly to that and all i want to do here is literally once i select it click edit up here click fill and then content aware fill right here color adaption just copy all of this click ok and boom literally see the feet disappears and it's almost like it was never there so this is what i mean by kind of just editing our photos to get it the correct background that you guys want and you guys kind of see like this is kind of like an imperfection but i kind of all want it to be like the same exact thing so what i might do is actually just content aware of this as well because i don't want this right here to be showing so i'm gonna just go ahead and just i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then it's literally gonna make it look like this floor is like all throughout you see i was like kind of like that constant background and the good thing about this like even if i wanted to add just one floor even if i wanted to like take a picture and I, let's say i couldn't go to the garage or whatever you could literally just cut out this whole thing and just delete it and then add your own and then you could literally just take pictures png pictures of your mock-ups cut them out and just put them on the same exact background but i'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a second i know that sounds hard but it's really not once you like once you realize how to do it 
and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and filter all of this stuff out. So it's kind of just like the constant same background going on. So yeah, everything looks smooth here. We got just like a natural background kind of looking just like on the floor. And I'm now I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this out, this whole thing out so we could I edit the hoodie without editing the background because if we would just click here, click camera raw filter, you could do that. But if you don't wanna, if you wanna edit just specifically the hoodie, then you really, then all you have to do is just cut it out. But we finna go right here. Like if you wanted to edit it in all, it'll change the background plus the hoodie. But that's not what I wanna do because I wanna edit the hoodie separate to the background. Cause I don't want the background to be changed. Cause I kinda like how this is going. And also I could also like use this background. I could content aware this whole hoodie to make it kinda like how there's no, there's no hoodie at all. So even if y'all wanted to just use a plain background like that, and you guys can literally keep reusing this if you guys need it. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna just show y'all if you content aware filled it right here. So this is if you guys literally just want to go ahead and use the same background for everything. What you would do is you would just content aware fill it, and then you would just take the PNG to the mockup and just place it right here. So let's say like I wanted to put this T here. What I would do is I would cut out this T. Boom. Put the PNG of the T, and I would literally just put it on here. So. Instead of just going out every single time, you could just take a picture anywhere and put your mock-up there. That's also like another way to get your mock-up on like kind of like the same without doing it. Without going back and forth, back and forth because I probably don't want to keep going out, take product photos. So you can literally take product photos anywhere and then just use the same background for all of it. But I'm going to go ahead and select all of this so I could go ahead and edit it. You guys, you guys could click select object, but sometimes it doesn't do it well. So I'm going to see if it if it actually lines up and everything like i see like this imperfection right here so i'm about to take that see like uh select object doesn't kind of work well but we can use it because it's kind of like a faster route so you guys can go ahead and see this i'm gonna just put a back white background now we literally have a png cut out you guys want to go ahead and just like go over it too because you guys can see like all of these little imperfections it'll be really more accurate if you was to just cut it out but i'm not going to be cutting out because that's going to be taking a minute but if y'all didn't know this is basically just like how you cut out stuff go along with it and then select what you need right click make selection and then just delete it and then you want to go ahead and go on the other side like y'all can see the difference between the each side how this one and I actually got to delete the hoodie too as well that's why i would really suggest y'all to just cut it out so y'all don't have to do spend y'all time just going over it but i'm just being lazy so we finna do do this that looks much better so yeah now we actually have the whole png of it that's why i kind of like to select objects so we can actually make our own file of it and we could actually change the hoodie color if we would like like we could do a bunch of things like if you just select the hoodie out that's also also a good way so you could literally just edit it without editing the background so we could go ahead and put the background on go ahead and click camera raw filter i like to do camera raw. actually another thing is when you guys are editing make sure always to convert it to a smart object so you can always go back and edit it for example let's say if i wanted to do brightness you know what i'm saying if i just wanted to play with this a little bit if i wanted to lower it let's say or that this one kind of looks better brightness contrast you can easily go back and you can literally delete it turn it off or edit it so that's why i would suggest you guys go to a smart object and literally edit it always on a smart object so you could go back and edit it if you guys need so it's not permanent so because you guys don't want to be going undo and then if you find something good then let's say you have to undo it you can literally just edit it within there so with this camera raw filter i would just tell you guys to just play around with it to see which really fits best to your opinion and this part is really just not not that hard you just want to go ahead and just put up the different types of effects you know what i'm saying the editing you want to edit this hue saturation shadows just what really makes it, the hoodie pop and i really like to make the hoodies with color so that's why i'm gonna up the vibrance a little bit so the color could kind of pop a little bit more i like to add the contrast highlights so literally just makes the color pop overall and just makes the customer want to click on it 10 times more so go ahead and up the clarity if you guys are confused on what it does you can literally just this is what i like to do so if you could just scroll on it like if you like this or if you just want to do none no clarity but you, if you want to see what each one does you could just simply just slide it over i like to add noise reduction a little bit because it kind of makes it like a little um like smooth almost but not too much so i can show the quality yeah y'all could go ahead and see the difference of like the hoodie color like how mine actually pops more and this is actually a good way so the right is before and then after feel me once you guys go ahead and finish editing all that stuff like let's say if you want to go to adjustments you can add the levels 
basically just edit it to your liking and i'm gonna go ahead and rasterize the layer so i won't be able to edit it anymore so yeah y'all could go ahead and see this the final kind of the pop literally we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these wrinkles because we can actually get rid of that so what y'all want to go ahead and do is just basically just select all around the wrinkle click edit fill and literally content aware that's what i always like to do and you kind of get the same kind of patterns almost like as like with the non-wrinkle so just go around where it's all kind of wrinkly at you can go ahead just content aware it it'll take it out because it'll like blend it in with the natural one so you just do like big sections so it's all kind of smoothed out so boom y'all see how it was just it was just mad wrinkly here now it's like it's not even there y'all see that difference because it takes it what content aware feel, feel does it takes the background and it kind of just smooths it out with it so it basically just makes it look like it's not even there so you guys basically don't even see no more wrinkles we could take this one out as well there's another wrinkle right there content aware feel me boom so now it's all blended uh this one if we wanted to take this out i might actually keep these in though because it kind of shows off like how good the quality is but all these other wrinkles that look like it's been folded bro nah take them out just a few things that like was happening at the shoot that i couldn't really i didn't really fix but we could really just fix it now so you guys don't have to perfect it at the shoot you can always edit it in photoshop later and now it literally looks like nothing was there i'm not sure if i could get this one out there if you kind of get that same problem click this one because if content where it feel like the other way it's kind of more like just straightforward but if you want to actually select something out you can see how like let's say if this was selected then you can see it come up but unselected and all that so yeah everything is looking good it's like okay boom and it's almost like the shadow is not even there you literally just make your product look the best photoshop is literally clicking like why not use photoshop because like come on you gotta perfect your product you know what i'm saying now y'all can go ahead and see the difference i could definitely see is like it's not a lot it's not probably a lot different but you can see the different ironing is all overall just looks more cleaner and pops more and that's what you guys want to go ahead and be doing with your product so i literally just gave you guys the sauce if you guys have any wrinkle on your product anything and what i would do from here is if i wanted to edit the background this is what i would just do you know what i'm saying going here then i would edit the background how i would want but i'm not going to be focusing on a product i'm gonna just focus on the background so i'm gonna just see which kind of one looks the best turn down the brightness so it could kind of be like a little white like white and black a little bit turn up the grain a little bit too that's what i like to do so yeah now you guys have successfully edited your background and your product photo so this is what i would do is now if you guys kind of don't like this circle i might as well i might take out this circle because it kind of looks a little bit too like why is there just a sun in the back like a wet spot i'm not i'm not doing that so we could just go ahead and edit it again now it looks 10 times better i like that way more so then boom now this is exactly how you guys take product photos this is literally how you properly take your product photos and edit them you do this literally just rinse and repeat with every single product like even with this one right here my tees all i would do is boom straight forward i'm gonna just go ahead and just take out the feet right here because we don't want the feet in there obviously literally boom content aware feel a lot of people didn't notice a lot of people just be taking pictures with their feet in and literally cut out cut out the um people just literally just be taking pictures of their feet with the product they don't be caring about the product or nothing at all you know what i'm saying so i'm just go ahead and edit this t1 as well so i could just show you how i would kind of do it to the with the same product and kind of make it like balance a little because you can see how these aren't the same size so i'm gonna go ahead and make it look like it's not even switching you guys are gonna understand what i mean by that in a second so first things first i'm gonna just go ahead and uh cut it out right here so i could kind of get like a more accurate detail literally this is like the easiest part just go ahead and trace it honestly i bet so cutout is officially done go ahead and just copy that i'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys how i basically just kind of um go ahead and just like line them up and everything then we're gonna go ahead and edit the photos so make sure you guys have actually the photo like you make sure you guys want to go ahead and have your reference reference photo so if you guys are going to be making everything kind of like the same position as this one then what you're going to need to do is cut out this one go ahead and put it on kind of this layer so you could basically just move 
both of these layers with seeing it so you could kind of get a um good representation of it y'all could go ahead and see by like my screen and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of just move it don't worry about if you guys see how kind of it's not lined up and everything don't worry about that you guys can fix that with the content we feel which i'm about to show you guys so all you guys have to do is basically make it look like this is under this so you guys can see it my layer the t layer is on top of the hoodie layer so i could kind of match it out so if i was to basically like take off this then you could you can see how they're in the same position that's what you guys are going to want to go ahead and get so i'm gonna go ahead and just edit this to how it is go ahead and just get it as like close as can as close as you can so it's like the same size once you guys get kind of like the dedicated size this is what it's gonna look like and don't worry about that basically you guys could go ahead and get the background back just content aware it's really not that hard just go ahead and just select the white image make sure it's selected on the actual mock-up picture as well if it's not selected on the background then it's not gonna work make sure it's selected on the background go ahead and click edit fill content with boom then you guys are going to be see it says fill and it's going to basically just give out the render of what's around it you guys could do the same thing where just go where everywhere where it's white so you could go ahead and add that background in so that's why i kind of say it doesn't matter what angle angle you take your mock-up photos just as long as it, as it's on the top because you can always add and remove background because this type of concrete background is always like you could you could replicate it with photoshop now it's in the center now you want to group it i'm gonna just basically show you guys of finished purple i'm just go ahead and name them finished purple hoodie and then t now you guys kind of see how they're kind of synced up and they're literally in the same spot they're both in the middle so that's what you guys do that's what i do every single time because it's a different background but it literally looks like it took it in the same position but all it is is just a different product so that's how i do it to get make sure it's like the same size and everything so they're all fitting and all that so now we're gonna go ahead and edit the t as you guys can see is it is a little bit desaturated because of my shadow so we can go ahead and up the saturation which you guys want to do click adjustments vibrance you know what i'm saying you just want to go ahead and up that up a little bit boom not too much so it doesn't look like too unnatural but you kind of see like the color popping out a little bit because this tea is like a very colorful tea and all that i'm gonna go ahead and click just brightness contrast i'm not gonna do anything with the camera raw because it doesn't need that much of attention because all i have to do with this is just kind of just turn up the brightness a little bit because it was dark outside so i don't really have to do too much but we could go ahead and turn on the brightness contrast and you guys can see how it kind of makes the photo pop 10 times more it depends on like that's why you guys want to kind of mess with it because you see how this one looks like like you really can't see the t like it's too bright so i'm gonna just go back change that i'm gonna undo that Control z i'm gonna kind of fix it so it was like a good a good mixture between both i'm gonna bring up the shadows a little bit because you guys see that little dark spot bring up the shadows now it's all bright i like that this looks better okay this looks better i like this you guys see the before or after it's kind of more popping now it's not dark not as dark so yeah you guys literally see the power of photoshop look at the difference i see the difference it's a huge difference so literally this is exactly how i take my macro photos this is how exactly you guys should be taking out product photos now you can see if you swipe in or everything this is kind of just how you get it mock on um, lined up and everything so it's going up your brand aesthetic all that stuff that's why i kind of like taking the pictures with, with this kind of background because you already see the image i'm trying to, trying to go for and then yeah we could go ahead and go i'm gonna go ahead and edit these purple tees these pink tees so y'all could go ahead and see kind of how i would edit like a sideways mirror like i told y'all in the video these steps was gonna be a problem in these photos but literally we could content aware i'm telling you guys it's so easy like that it don't matter where your product is you just content aware it and change it all in photoshop so i'm gonna go ahead and fix this one up first first thing i'm gonna do is boom i see this corner i don't want that there i'm gonna go ahead and select that feel content aware boom that's done three steps bro that took so fast and you see how it was all filtered you see how that's that's what content aware field does i'm gonna go ahead and fix this once again you guys don't have to do this you guys don't have to like take it out every single time but i, I personally like to take it out so it could just be the background and everything now i'm gonna go ahead and 
take off my shoes right here now let's go ahead and just edit this the there's a lot of wrinkles on here but it doesn't matter because we can obviously take that out like you guys can see around all the over here right here some wrinkles right here some wrinkles so yeah we could definitely go ahead and edit that but we are going to need to select the subject and just cut out this so we can get this on its own separate layer you guys want to click remove background and select subject all you guys could do that but it might not be as accurate as like you actually doing it manually doing it so you can see how like it kind of just goes off sometimes but we we'll go ahead and use this control j so now we have our own separate layer so now this is our own separate layer so you, it took off the t i'm not sure why so we could just go ahead and just select this and then merge it all right best so we are just gonna go ahead and just take out all of the all of these lines right here because that's not what we want on our hoodies you know what i'm saying so go ahead and just take it out content aware like i told y'all okay best so we got all of the wrinkles out as you guys can see we could kind of just go ahead and see all of that i ain't gonna lie that's crazy of what photoshop could do because it literally looks like i ironed it when i literally didn't iron it at all like y'all see the amount of wrinkles that was in there but now it all looks good all looks smooth that's what i was telling you guys earlier in the vid just trust the photoshop process literally just take your time with it you know what i'm saying go over all the little parts make sure it doesn't look as wrinkly as saying like this is another part i could do like because this kind of does look wrinkly right here so go ahead content feel so yeah now since we already have everything the wrinkles the hoodie looks obviously nice right now we are gonna go ahead and just edit it so what i'm gonna do is make it a smart object so we can all so we can edit it later on go ahead and go to camera and then we're just gonna be playing around with the contrast trying to make it pop a little bit more try to try to keep the same settings for all the same colors like you don't want to have one picture to pink pop and then another picture to pink doesn't pop at all so make sure you guys are always keeping the same exact settings for the same colors so or don't like don't you don't have to be the same settings but kind of don't make just one pop and one not pop if they're both going to be pop then just make both of them edited and make sure they both look nice don't just edit one and then don't edit the other one because that's just going to look wacky i can go ahead and see the difference it just pops a little bit more this one looks good i actually like this one i like this you don't like this we can also add you know what i'm saying some contrast hue saturation color lookup and now we're going to go back and then we're going to go ahead and edit this because this looks crazy yeah i definitely see the difference there it's crazy like that literally just got along that whole line now we're gonna go ahead and edit the background i'm gonna kind of keep the same as the other ones low you know what i'm saying make it kind of like black and white because y'all can see it's green and i don't want it to be green because green is ugly bro like this looks kind of crazy turn to vibrant you know what i'm saying we don't want that green here at all but we kind of don't want it all the way gone so just want to desaturate it a little bit and then turn up clarity texture this is what i like doing with these type of backgrounds you know what i'm saying make it all look nice pop out so then boom this is literally like another pink hoodie another way that you guys can also do it yeah definitely i seen i literally told you guys early in the video like it doesn't matter where you guys take it make sure as long as like what you could do as well like if you don't have this background near you you can always just literally just get a picture from it on the internet like a grunge text or like a um a specific texture on the internet and literally just put it behind your picture so you get the png put it on the png and then make sure like do the blending all of that you guys want a separate video on how to do that like how to actually just get like different places online instead of just taking pictures at a parking garage every time you can literally just put your png on it and just use that anytime you want like any like if you cut it out you can see you can put a white background if you like you can just use any background you want and you can just cut it out take it that's the that's the kind of the point of making it its own layer so if you wanted to change the background you could like if i wanted to use another background then i obviously could because i made it a separate whole layer that's basically like the whole gist of how i be making my product photos this is exactly how you guys should be making your product photos whether it's a white background or it's like one of these type of backgrounds i'm gonna go ahead and save this so you so i could show you guys all of them but that is literally how i edit and affect all of my product photos you know what i'm saying unfortunately it is going to be the end let me just go ahead and show you guys this real quick all the product photos we had did today i'm gonna kind of show you guys like a before and after of everything because i'm not gonna lie it is crazy like you guys see this t for example 
the before and after this just shows y'all like you guys could take pictures of anything just you guys literally just as long as you can fix it up in photoshop then that's fine you can see the original photo looks literally like buns it looks bad but we went on photoshop we edited it and it came out to this and this is exactly how you guys should be taking our product photos the colors is nice there and pop it literally looks clean the background is simp simply nice and clean you guys see like there's no weird shadows there's nothing weird about this and what i like to do about all of my product photos if you line all of my product photos up they're literally like almost the same size so it kind of just looks like they're all in the same exact spot so i'm gonna just show you guys that right here for a second you could actually go ahead and see how how i was talking about you got the pink hoodie you got this one boom boom and then yeah so yeah that's what i was um saying about keeping it in the middle make sure you guys always keep everything lined up in the middle that's why i kind of like to make them all at once so i can have everything lined up but yeah unfortunately that is going to be the end of today's video you know what i'm saying if you guys all like this video if you guys learned something new let me know down below in the comments you know what i'm saying if you guys are liking these type of videos let me know what you guys want to see in the future as well but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe you know what i'm saying he's currently about to hit 20k subscribers feel me and i just wanted to go ahead and make this quick video you know what i'm saying i appreciate you guys for all the support you guys been giving me 20k subs on the way if you guys enjoyed something if you guys enjoyed this video if you learned something new comment down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace